okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a mass of 500 gram that is half kg is attached to spring with a spring constant of 1.2 newton per centimeter the spring is initially unstretched the mass is released from rest and falls which of the following gives the correct well use the displacement at the lowest point displacement when the mass comes to the rest okay fine uh, dear students let us see what is happening in this question now okay so there are two things that are uh, mm, acting parallelly on the system so the first question is like what is the lowest point so first of all try to understand what is actually happening here let us say uh, this uh, this uh, mass is i am i'm holding this mass i just leave it so what happens is it moves down it goes down and it comes back and it settles somewhere here so the lowest point is this one but it it hits the lowest point and it comes back a little up so there is these two positions are completely different so we need to find the lowest point and the equilibrium position lowest point is not the equilibrium position now so uh, case number one let us say that we want to find the lowest point to find the lowest point we have to go with the principle of work energy power and the principle will be conservation of energy so let us say this mass it goes down and this is the steepest most point that is the deepest point that is x it it moves by x distance so it lost some energy like it has lost potential energy but where is this potential energy now is the is the mass moving the answer is no because this mass is at rest it comes to rest momentarily and then it falls back it, it goes up again so this thing x it falls now down so i can say that the loss in potential energy is equal to the gain in elastic potential energy for the spring so m g x is equal to half k x square and there we are mass is half gravity will be 10 this is again half and this is k into x so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled out so 10 divided by 1.2 x you see i have i'm not talking about the unit here so uh, you just consider this thing on the left hand side we have all the si units but here for k the unit is a little different it is 1.2 newton per centimeter so i am not converting it into meter because this is getting multiplied with the position that is x so the centimeter centimeter gets cancelled out because there there is only product here there is no addition or subtraction so that is why if we are not converting the units even then we would be getting the same answer but otherwise definitely we must change it we must get the answer in meter and then we must convert back into the centimeter but presently we can just go like that only so our answer is 10 divided by 1.2 which comes out to be 8.3 so 8.3 is the answer in centimeters for the case number one and what about the case number two now the case number two is fairly simple so at the equilibrium what is happening here this is having a downward force that is mg and is being acted upon by an upward force which is kx both of the forces are creating an equilibrium there both of the forces have to be equal so half into g is mg because mass is 500 grams that is taken as half kg this will be equal to k into x again i am not uh, changing the units for k i'm just keeping it in centimeters so that i would be getting the answers in the centimeter itself so we just divided by k so it will be 5 divided by 1.2 so that comes out to be 4.16 yes so 8.3 and 4.1 so our answer is b so this is how we do this question my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to the youtube channel you can contact me on whatsapp as well as on discord so all the best bye